Welcome to this video about equal pressure point and dynamic compression. Here we see a picture of the right lung with the bronchi and the trachea. Now if we take a look inside the lung, we can see some different uh, pressures here. So we will have a pr uh, some, yeah, some arbitrary pressures that I've written up. We will have uh, in the alveoli. We will have a arbitrary pressure of just plus twenty, and on the outside we will see plus six. Uh, and what happens? This is plus twenty during a big inspiration. Uh, but when we exhale, we will see that the pressure will uh, decrease while the while the air travels. And so we'll take a look at that now. So the pressure will drop from 20 to 16, 14, and so forth until it reaches a point here when it's plus 6 equal to the outside pressure. And that's where we have the equal pressure point. And what is important to remember here is that the equal pressure point here in in uh, the normal scenario is reached after we've reached uh, a point in the bronchi where where the bronchi is made up of cartilage, and this will be important because when we we're going to look at what happens when the equal pressure point is reached too low, uh, we'll see what happens then. So now let's take a look at this example again where we will reach the equal pressure point a bit too low uh, and this video will not cover certain medical conditions that could cause a too low equal pressure point but rather it will focus on the, the basic phenomenon and principle of, of a too low equal pressure point. So when the person exhales here, we can see that uh, the pressure decreases, just as normal, but we will reach uh, the plus six here, we will reach it too fast. We see we haven't reached the, the cartilage region. Uh, so the equal pressure point is shifted down. So what will happen if we reach the equal pressure point too low is that the pressure will continue to drop and when it drops further below plus 6 the outside pressure will push against the bronchi and compress it and this is what called this is what's called the dynamic compression and when the bronchi compresses like this, when dynamic co compression occurs, uh, the uh, person will have troubles to to exhale. Uh, and what could help is if the person exhales a bit slower, then we'll see that uh, the pressure uh, drops uh, slower, so we can reach, we can shift back up the equal pressure point to a higher point where where dynamic compression will not will not happen